Okay, so if China comes up with a thorium reactor, um, if China have... is first to market, okay, first of all, we don't live in the economic world of our fathers. Increasingly, the world moves towards big box. Big box being Walmart that wipes out entire communities, right? Amazon, which wipes out entire distribution networks. Market segments. If you look at the world's largest publicly traded company and the most successful IPO in the world, it wasn't a US IPO, it was Alibaba. Alibaba is literally, is it a thousand times larger than um, Amazon? It's well, it's the Chinese Amazon, that's for sure. And it's, I don't know it's if it's a thousand. Hundreds of times larger than Amazon, and it's whole industries. So, what China will do, this is what I would do if I was a sovereign nation uh, uh, bent on global domination, this is what I would do. I would launch this, these react, this reactor technology, I would, I would lease it, license, lease it to the whole world, and I would set the pricing so low. Uh, low is free. You why, would you, why would you, you, you give the reactors away? You would give the reactors with away. With the promise that you get an offtake agreement. So it's a lease, yeah. exactly. So what happens is you provide this technology to the end user so inexpensively, there's not enough margin for anyone else to enter the game. And you sign 50 year leases that become 100 year leases because there's nobody behind you. And then what you're doing is you're you're saying, I'm going to provide you the reactor for no charge, and the lease will be, I'll charge you one and a half cents per kilowatt hour. Well, that will be a global tax on the entire world. And China will be the exclusive uh, revenue generating income and profit center for energy on a global basis. And that, as energy, as a single entity is bigger than almost everything else in the economy combined. You got a bunch of Chinese going, oh, 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 oh slow down, let me write this. Uh, no, what next? That's, that's what exactly next what you would do. That's what anybody would do. You look at the way business models function today, you keep going bigger with smaller margins so that you can prevent competition. Yeah. Well, they're gonna, they already have an eight year lead. They're going to offer this technology. They're going to come to U.S. companies that are self-centered and greedy, and they're going to go, look, there's some resistance in the United States to this technology. These guys at the Thorium Energy Alliance, I don't know who they are, but they, they won't shut up. So listen, you go lobby Congress for early adoption of the Chinese technology, and we will give you a special price. And that special price will help you destroy your competitors. Do you see how this works? So GE, so Westinghouse, so, you know, uh, Duke Energy, who wants to control the entire Midwest, gets a special deal, they go lobby Congress, and you know how that works, right? Next thing you well, know. You know, their, their special deal is, hey, we're going to give you, you know, 1,100 megawatt reactors for free. Yep. And and all we want is we want two cents a megawatt hour. You charge whatever you want on top of that, and you're you're going to be our our collector. You're going to go around and collect from mom and pop kettle, you know. And and at the end of the day, you're going to saw off checks for us and send it send it back. And when Duke says, hey, can can we have our own guys run the place, or you know, are we going to build a refueling station here in the United States? It's like, oh no. No, we'll, we'll have guys living in their own, in their own little bunkhouses, and all the fuel's going to... There's going to be no knowledge transfer whatsoever. There'll be six rows of razor wire and a giant extension cord thrown over the fence with a meter stuck to it. They'll be like, plug in your city to this, and, and run your city off of this, and just when you're done, send us a check. That's it. That's the yeah. model. That's the only model. And that is the model that will dominate the world, and they'll have a tax base for the entire world. And effectively, they've enslaved the entire world because how does anybody compete with China on cost when commodity costs globally are the same for everybody? What are they going to do? Burn coal? Right. Well, they can't because China will become the most outspoken proponent of, you know, uh, carbon, environmental yeah, issues. Yeah, carbon-free, carbon capture. And on top of that, even coal. You could burn, burn coal all you want. You can't beat the price of a molten salt reactor running thorium, uranium, plutonium, spent nuclear fuel. I mean, there's you're talking about a price below the price of coal. I mean, that is the ultimate killer app for energy. Right. right and no now. CapEx costs. Because China, 
China will use all of its connections, its financing, and its new position with with uh, the um, World Bank and the uh, what is it, the IMF and everybody, because everybody owes them money, and they're just going to say, well, "You don't have to pay for these. We will deliver them." And maybe John, maybe they do let guys turn some knobs. What do they care? They're getting the metered rate from every single living, breathing person. And when we try to outcompete them on some resource, we're still buying energy from them, directly or indirectly, and the margins are going to them. So no matter how low we can drive prices, in the end, any energy used to produce any product will ultimately be built into this. You can't win. This is economic domination. It's the most beautiful, perfect model you could ever design.